who are given a fraction and we want to change it to a percent. So what we need to do is take our fraction and we multiply it by 100 over 1. When we multiply fractions, we multiply across. If you can simplify first, simplify it. makes it a lot easier in the end. So what I see is this 8 and 100. I know 4 goes into 8 two times. 4 goes into 100 25 times. Now if you didn't see that and you multiplied across, you're still going to get the same answer in the end. You'll just have bigger numbers. So now I multiply across 5 times 25, I get 125. 2 times 1 is 2. And then I need to divide this. 125, 2. 2 goes into 12 6 times with nothing left over. Bring down my 5. 2 goes into 5 2 times with 1 left over. I have nothing left to bring down, so I add my decimal, bring down my 0, and 2 goes into 10 five times evenly. So my answer is going to be 62.5%, which is choice A. So always multiply by 100 over 1 and then simplify and divide. Number 2, we have 8 ninths. So 8 over 9 times 100 over 1. We can't simplify this at all. So now I'm going to do is multiply across. 8 times 100, I get 800. 9 times 1 is 9. And then I need to divide. 9 into 800. 9 goes into 80 8 times. 8 times 9 is 72. We're subtracting. 80 minus 72 is 8. Bring down my 0. 9 goes into 80 8 times. 9 times 8 is 72. I have 8 left over. I have nothing left to bring down. I'm going to add my decimal, add my 0. Again, 9 into 80, 8 times with 8 left over. And I'll keep going on and on and on. So I'll keep getting 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, and so on. What they did here is round to the nearest tenth. So since this is the 8, that'll round out to a 9. So my final answer is going to be 88.9%, which is choice B. And lastly, number three, we have two and three fourths. Two and three fourths. So before I start multiplying stuff, I need to change this to an improper fraction. So I have four times two is eight, plus my three, I get 11. So this is the same thing as 11 over four. Then I can multiply 100 over one. If I can simplify, I simplify. Four goes into four once. 4 goes into 100 25 times, and then I multiply across. 11 times 25, let's do that. 25 times 11, 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. Add your 0. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 2 is 2. We're adding here, so we get 5, 7, and 2. So, and then on the bottom we just had 1 times 1 is 1, therefore our final answer it's going to be 275%.